There we go. That's that's not good. Good job, TZ. You fucking sunk up nothing. <laughs> you sunk up nothing. There we go. Hello, everybody. You thought I was done with this, didn't you, before I got to the funny moments? Well, ho, ho, ho. You are so very wrong. Fuck off, McDonald's. It's not Sprite. It's like carbonated liquid. That's not even flavored. It's... Yeah. Don't give me carbonated water, you dirty, dirty hose. hose. And anyways, today I wanted to co go into the archives with you. I finally got I finally got it fixed. I, f I had to go play in again. So... I thought I had the archives. No! I'm a scat man. I'm a scat man. Alright, now let's get to the part we all been waiting for. Thank you, game. The select chapter, we're going to archives, we're going in, and we're gonna have fun. Okay? We're gonna have fun. Yeah. Alright, this is the part where the webcam disappears now. Alright, as you will now hear the soothing sound of my voice. If you don't like my voice, go watch someone else. Then the unique machine began when the developer slash cartoonist known as The Meatly experienced ex blah, blah, I fucking suck at words. Then the unique machine began with the develop when the f f fuck Then the unique machine began when the developer slash cartoonist known as The Meatly experimented with bringing a sketch 2D style into a 3D world. After turning the idea into a horror game, Chapter 1 of the game was created in little under a week with the program programmer slash friend Mike Mood and released on February 10th in 2017. Such to their surprise, it struck a chord with the global indie gamers almost overnight. The Meatly and Mike Mood decided to drop all other projects to work on Bendy and tell a most unique ink story. The entire game was completed at a chapter at a time in a year and a half by a small but dedicated group of indie developers. Although the concept and story remained as originally intended, the game over over development ha as characters and models were refined by their early thrown together versions. This archive is a peek behind the scenes at that process. Welcome to the archives. All right, so we have entered the archives. As you know, there's the Joey Juice sign. There's a she's quite a gal. You get to see the concept art. Uh, drawn by by Gavin himself, and my goodness, all of this is so fucking beautiful. Especially those two over there. We'll get to them later, though. First, we're gonna start things off at the original Ink Machine. Before a major visual upgrade, this version of the Ink Machine was the one used in the game, much as this machine's iconic. What? <laughs> I didn't read the comma right away, okay? <laughs> Fuck! Before he made you... <laughs> Before a major visual upgrade, this version of the ink machine was the one used in the game. Much of this machine's iconic fan love design was translated into the final version. <laughs> Read that hot comma right away. <laughs> concept Bendy. This is the first version of Bendy ever modeled in the earliest concepts. Bendy was a much smaller and cuter with a face that split open to reveal a terrifying mouth. Yeah, that's fucking scary as shit. But it would have been kind of cool, actually. It would have been cool to see this in a way. Oh... Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh my god. And, and to think we would ever see this guy again. Here he is. Be that's not beta. That's apparently beta. 
Alpha Bendy. This is the original game used design of Ink Bendy from the earliest version of Chapter 1. It is jokingly referred to as Bird Poop. With a smile. Okay, that's fucking mean. He is to be loved. Look at him! Among the development team. You know, I just realized something. He's moving. Yeah, stare directly at the crotch. Beta Bendy. Yeah, no, he's... Yeah, that's Beta. That's Beta, I guess, now. That's now Beta. Beta Bendy. This was Ink Bendy's form until the release of Chapter 4. At that time, the game received a major visual... Are, are we just gonna talk about him more? Like, in, in his... In his fucking bio description, we're gonna talk about him more. Okay, cool. <laughs> this was Ink Bendy's form until the release of Chapter 4. At the, that time, the game received a major visual upgrade, and the title character got a new model as well. Yeah, let's talk more about this one. <laughs> Ink Bendy. Ink Bendy as we know him today. Although similar to Beta Bendy. No shit! Uh. I would be the worst tour guide ever. I would just be like, Ink Bendy, as we know him today, similar to his older version. Take a look at him! You're basically the same! This upgraded version was remodeled, enhanced with a higher polygon count, and given new ink effects. Let's not talk about his development at all, or about the mouth jitter at all. Let's talk about his polygon count. Beast Bendy. Ink Bendy's horrific final form in Chapter 5 pulled away the cartoon facade and revealed the demon within. Yeah, he now has teeth. Didn't notice that? He has teeth. Let's take a look at this ugly piece of shit. Beta Searcher. Early in development, with just a few weeks to create Chapter 2, to create Chapter 2, the Beta Searchers were designed in record time. That's not a good thing. <laughs> Before being fully retooled later, on. They were the first fighting enemies encountered in the game. And that's all we thought. Just these guys. But then there's more. Final Searcher. Not just Searcher, Final Searcher. The Final Searchers were far more robust in appearance. They were... <coughs> they were smoother with better ink effects and more human appearance. Because that's what we wanted to get you to think of them. Humans. Beta Sammy. You know... That thing? Thing that had a very lanky arm? You know? Not as noodle army as, uh, as Allison over there, but we'll get to her later. Beta Sammy. With his first appearance in the Chapter 2, fan favorite, Sammy Lawrence, aka Glorified Searcher, became a terrifyingly not really entertaining character with his slim build was deemed not threatening enough. I wonder why. <laughs> he was redesigned and given a better skeletal rig for more advanced animation. Let's talk about that one some more. <laughs> Final Sammy. You know, the other one, you don't even look like you're wearing your trousers over there. I'm not going to lie. Sammy Lawrence's final form came complete with a bulked up structure. Or, I'm good with words. Came with a bulked up stature and more powerful limbs. But you probably couldn't have told you that, but you know. All he really did was just kind of slap you in the face and then he stood there. Him, on the other hand, he hit you with a frying pan. That's not a frying pan, that's a dustpan. That's actually an axe. Sammy Lawrence's final form came bulked with a stature and more powerful limbs, and I'm totally reading these again. The Matt Songwriter may finally get noticed now. At least by fans. Nah, he's pretty fucking noticed in this form. He didn't even have fucking feet. This one has feet. He didn't have feet. He has had things. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this thing. This living lost one. Trapped in a case. Why would you do that? Douches! It's alive in there! Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, evil Alice. Um, they didn't give her a fucking sign now that I think about it, and it's like, why? She had so much, like, to her! They were like one of your best characters! Come on! And then my wife. She didn't get one either. I'm disappointed. Really am. Well, neither did he, but these two are far more important. 
this guy didn't even get one either. He just kind of like existed. Oh my god, this thing. So those things were part of him before, like that fucking whatever the fuck. No, you were not enclosed last time I saw you. Beta Boris. Papa. Yeah, no, apparently his name was fucking Papa. You know. Oh god, I'm scared that people are going to start calling this thing Daddy. Oh no, I just fucking ignited the fire. Papa was the original name of the character that eventually became Boris the Wolf. Yeah, kind of weird, huh? This early version was released with Chapter 1. He was quickly refined into Boris as we know today. With the release of Chapter 2. This, may this music actually makes me want to fucking cry because I know it's over. Boris the Wolf, don't mind that hand right there. Boris the Wolf, a friend to the end. Yeah, no, I'm fucking around. It was designed using various references from cartoons of the 1920s. A blend of West Coast and East Coast animation styles. This silent and supportive wolf won over the hearts of many. Although at times he was a headache over for the development team due to his AI taking a on a mind of his own during production. What do you mean? Okay, so wait, Boris is gonna get something, but not these two lovely ladies, especially her and her. You know, I'm used to you breathing. Just seeing you stand there. It's kinda weird. Your fucking thumb is stuck in your uh uh your uh your, your thumb is stuck inside your hip. You need you do, do you need some help? I just stared at Alice and Alice Angel's tits for way too long. Boris. Alice Angels. Yeah, that thing over there that didn't have a description. Alice Angels monstrosity. Brute Boris was one of the biggest surprises of Chapter 4. Yeah, I guess. His design was roughly based on the Frankenstein monster, but with a more unfinished appearance, clearly. Uh, wow, I'm really digging into them. I'm sorry. If you guys actually watch this, just needful reminder... I love your game, and I love you guys, and I don't mean to fucking bash your game. I would be surprised if you got this far into the video, considering I fucking, fucking started over there bashing. <laughs> Alice Angel's monstrosity, Brute Boris, was one of the biggest surprises of Chapter 4. His design was roughly based on the Frankenstein, but we already read this one too! With a more unfinished appearance. Alice took parts from wi from within him and substituted things that his body is rapidly rejecting. Clearly. Look at that heart. See that heart? Are you disturbed yet? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's the cripple. Ah! Hold on one second. Mm. There we go. The what? <laughs> what? Hold on. What? The Piper? <laughs> okay. The Piper, Striker, and Fisher make up the dreaded Butcher Gang. Interestingly, the ink corrupted versions of the characters were designed first, and then were reverse engineered back into their more friendly. What? More friendly... Oh, I'm good at reading. More family-friendly cartoon forms. Oh, cool. You got a head here. Oh, you're disturbing. I'm just gonna stand on you. And guys, that's it. This is Bendy and the Ink Machine. Hold on. Fuck you! This is Bendy and the Ink Machine. Don't question how I got up here. Bendy and the Ink Machine. A beautiful trademark. Don't forget the trademark. <laughs> Bendy and Ink Machine. This game was a beautiful game. A wonderful game. Amongst many. As you can see, she's quite a gal. Joey Drew Studios. And let's take a look at this concept art. Sammy Lawrence. Pipers. Pipers. Strikers. Fishers. Thing. My girls. That sounds weird. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that thing is. And that. That is all, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe button. 
I have one more bendy video to make before we start getting to the funny moments. So, if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button because if you have not tuned into any funny moments, you are in for the time of your fucking life. With all that being said, I want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.